What's up guys, God of War Geek here and welcome to another God of War video. Hours ago we got blessed with more news on God of War Ragnarok and as always the fandom is losing their shit with excitement right now. But we are here to talk about it, so let's get to it. Starting with the cover art, probably the most notable part of this image, at least for me, is we have Brock and Sindri who are both aware of the imminent danger that surrounds them and that they may have to fight to defend themselves, which is something I have always predicted especially around Sindri. I don't think there will be anyone more excited than me to see Sindri pick up a weapon and fight. And below we get another appearance of our Drekki friend. This Drekki though could very well be a different one to the one we saw in the trailer, which means we might have to fight a number of them. And pretty much no matter where you look on land, we see these reptile enemies, which now have a name. They are called Grimms. I was working on a theory of my own as to what these creatures could be, but with this reveal, it has most likely made my theory obsolete. My theory was that these creatures could be based on the Vodinoi creature, which is from Slavic myth. So unless Grimms is another name for them or something, I will have to shelve that theory for now. Again we see what most people believe to be an Inheria, and then we come to this dragon. And there could potentially be five dragons in total in this image, which again confirms just how close dragons and dwarves really are, and why dwarven tricks don't seem to work on them. This particular dragon though doesn't look like any of the three that Kratos and Atreus released. I'd say the closest to it might be Fafnir, but I do not think this is him. I do have an idea who it could be. Could it be another dwarf turned dragon? I can't see why not. But with zero proof, I will keep that identity to myself. But it hasn't escaped me that it could be an actual dragon, like Hrazdir. But let us now talk about the new details we got from Game Informer. The triangle button has been upgraded, and by this I mean when we had the axe in hand and pressed triangle, nothing happened. When we had the blades in hand, pressed triangle, Kratos would revert back to wielding the axe. Triangle will still be able to call the axe back, but now, whatever weapon you are holding at the time, by pressing triangle, you will trigger what they are calling its signature move, which will cause more fire or ice damage to enemies. One is called Frost Awaken, and the other is called Whiplash. We then come to the shield. We now have two confirmed names for each type. The Dauntless Shield, which is this oval shaped one. This one is for the player who prefers to parry rather than block. With enough parries it will glow red, which will allow you to trigger a powerful attack which sends enemies flying and also stuns them. The Stonewall Shield is more for those that prefer to block. This shield also comes with a similar ability to the Dauntless Shield. The more hits the shield takes, the more kinetic energy it absorbs which can be used to attack your enemies. But the Stonewall Shield has a downside and I'm sure all versions will have one. If you block one too many times you will leave yourself open to a number of attacks. It is so cool that they are trying to make us think of ways to best approach a fight. We also learn that Atreus now has a new arrow called Sonic Arrow. From the gameplay it seems that when certain parts of an area have a greenish glow to them, Atreus will shoot at it destroying any sort of barrier. Apparently these arrows are capable of locking an enemy in place which sounds like it's going to be a very useful ability. Both Mihir Chef and Denny Ye, I apologise if I pronounce your names wrong, they both confirm that the aggression of the enemies and their lethality will increase depending on which difficulty. So I am already dreading my first hardest difficulty playthrough. But also that the enemies you defeat in each realm will periodically repopulate and could get stronger as time goes on. I wonder if it will be like those games where the more you level up your character, the enemy's level goes up to a certain extent as well. Now let's dive in and talk about the sneak peek of gameplay. Obviously there wasn't much to show at the moment, but Game Informer did say that we should expect more news around God of War Ragnarok in the coming days. But here we see Kratos leaping up to a higher platform, but also laying down a smash attack on a Grim, taking it off its feet and letting it slam back down to the ground. Kratos then throws his axe at the Grim. Freezing it in place, but the best part is that Kratos then knocks it off the ledge. I assume that maybe there was some tactical fall damage at play here, but it was much more than that, because the moment it touched the ground, a powerful ice wave exploded, covering a decent amount of area, which will no doubt come in handy when surrounded by enemies. And just showing you again, but here we see this green ripple effect which Atreus can shoot to remove barriers in Kratos' way. This seems a little strange to me, when Kratos has Leviathan, but hey, I'm not complaining. Another scene we see Kratos in another area of Svartalfheim. There is a green raven flying overhead. 
Looks like we're going to be taking down more of Odin's little spies. We also have a chest to our right. Another scene we can see them showing us how to aim, throw and have the axe return. It looks like it is more or less the same. Kratos threw his axe at another Narnia bell, which likely points to more Narnia chess puzzles. And lastly we get this scene of Kratos, Atreus and Mimir in another boat. But just look how stunning Svartalfheim looks, and we've only seen a small taste of it. But again, as a reminder, Game Informer will be releasing more stuff in the coming days, so keep your eyes peeled. But to end the video, I just want to let you guys know that I have more videos coming, finally. Here are the thumbnails I've made to give you an idea of what to come. If you would do me the honour of liking and subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it and it would really help out the channel. Share and click the bell to be notified for every time I post. Thank you all so much for watching, take care of yourselves and goodbye until next time.